Floods in West and Central Africa destroy crops, worsening hunger's outlook. Okiecha Enoch isn't expecting much of a rice harvest from north central Nigeria. After flooding water, submerge his field and those of many other farmers this season. Many in Buenos States, known as the country's food basket, now find themselves in an unusual position of looking for seedling in preparation for next year's farming season, at a time when they should be harvesting the current crop. The kind of suffering we are passing through is terrible, Enoch said of the flood, now Nigeria's worst in more than a decade after killing more than 600 people and forcing 1.3 million to flee their homes. Above average rainfall and devastating flood have affected 5 million people this year in 19 countries across West and Central Africa, according to a UN World Food Programme Situation Report. In Chad, the nation's government this week declared a state of emergency after flood affected more than 1 million people there. This catastrophe resulting from climate change is one of the most severe the region has known for years, acting as a multiplier of miseries for communities already struggling to keep their heads above water, said Chad's interim leaders, Mohamed Dibris Debri. The disaster has now worsened the fate of the Central African nation. Already going through a food crisis, Nigeria has recorded at least 600 deaths, while authorities in neighboring Niger's authorities say at least 192 people have died there as a result of storms, either from homes collapsing or drowning in flood water. Already the flood have led to a major increase in chloria cases and other preventable diseases in Nigeria. Expert point to unusual rainfalls and the failure of government to set up early warning system to better prepare for climate extremes. That's all for today. Thank you and goodbye.